Good morning, guys. It's uh, week three of the Funnel Away Challenge. Just was checking if the camera was on. Um, we're gonna make the squeeze page, the sales page, and the one time upsell page this week. So on the squeeze page, you're gonna put your most amazing offer to lure the people in. And then on the sales page, you make the actual offer, give them a little order bump, and do an upsell. So that's what we're gonna do this week. Um, I'll be talking to that uh, when I'm sitting behind the computer, so I'll show you all the stuff. Hmm. So good, guys. Good morning to Walt Rockstar again. Another episode of uh, the One Funnel Away Challenge. It's kind of warm now. I'm wearing a jacket. Yesterday I was freezing my ass off. So, what's been happening? Um, we should have done the squeeze page and building the, the funnel so let me go back to last week we went into stories and hooks and offers and uh, you wrote that down so what's your hook and i've uh, tried to figure that out for me found it found the hooks for wealth rockstar and funnel boss so i'm wearing my sunglasses it's not really but they're uh, prescription so if i take them off i might run into a tree so um this week I've actually not been doing that much because I tried to make some money with a customer and it sometimes backfires but thank god we got the export secret spread and I could use the epiphany bridge to get that customer into the same yeah, to have the same epiphany as me except I totally failed and went into techno babble so anyway we're catching up on the Oh, it's day four or day five even of the third week and I haven't really been doing anything this week. I made a proposal for that client that is thinking about it. So I've been really active in the Funnel Hacker group and I've seen a message from somebody who's having a real hard time. Let me just walk away before we get killed. Loof. Um So, incoming dog, always uh, have to watch it. So, somebody's having a really rough time in the Funnel Hacker One Funnel Away Challenge. And uh, it's a sheep, and she's fallen behind. And yeah, it's kind of on the edge of, or on the verge of giving up. And I kind of want to talk about that in this episode so it's not really about making my squeeze page and my offer and my sales page but it's about not giving up it's about finding why you're doing this so if you're on the verge of losing your house or in a divorce or your wife is depressed and doesn't come out of bed or your dog is a mental little thing and drives you insane whatever it is if somebody is knocking at the door and is trying to impound your car or whatever happens in life use that anger use that anger and i know that stephen stephen larson in an episode of him of his podcast he's like ah oh, you pound on your chest you don't give up you're gonna take over the world and use that freaking anger figure out why you're doing this and use the freaking anger if you're getting divorced Hang a little voodoo doll on top of your uh, monitor and just say one funnel away. I'm just one funnel away and one day I will get my payback. Not one day, actually in a few weeks. So if there are people who are actually watching this and in a situation that I just described and are willing to toss in the towel, just figure out why you're doing this again. Be appreciative of what you still got. So if you're in a divorce, you might still have your kids. And I know it's a shitty time, but yeah, life happens and it's a shitty time. I'm married, don't have a divorce yet. So, but even marriage is hard, man. Life just happens. In business, it's the same. So, seem to motivate 
myself a little bit as well because I've been falling behind. So I jumped instantly in on that conversation that she had with the, the funnel hacker group for me. I'm trying to quit. So I hope I motivated her a little bit or that person. And, and you can always go to Health Rocks or Radio and you can sign up there and you can actually get the complete funnel that I used to make uh, affiliate money with. And that's kind of the funnel that made it possible for me to stay at home and work from home. Still have to work though. But you are gonna definitely more digital. So that made it possible for me. So go to Wealth Rocks or Radio if you see this. Join my podcast. If you have any questions, you can actually ask me questions so I can answer them in the episode on YouTube and you see me on Facebook Live and on Wealth Rocks or Radio on the podcast. Oh yeah, just wanted to update you a little bit. So the last week yeah, that's where it comes down to. Last week it was all about publishing. And I was really afraid of and hesitant of actual publishing. You might not see anything because the sun is straight in my face or behind me. Um, so it was all about publishing. And I actually published my origin story on Anchor FM. And I published it live on Facebook Live. And it's really an issue. <laughs> really a... Uh, a hard thing to do. After that though, I always thought, what the heck should I talk about? But after that, I got a Trello board where I write down all my ideas. It's like a digital notepad. And ideas been just popping up from the podcast. I made like eight episodes. It's a shame I don't want to upload an episode twice a day. So maybe tone it down, but it's really easy if you get it down. If you just do it once, you actually get more stuff to talk about you get more uh, confident with for example i make a video like now extract the audio upload it to my podcast don't know what just jumped in my neck there be a tag so you extract the audio you use the transcription or the description that you type on YouTube as a blog post and then shit starts happening and that's what I've been noticing so stuff has been happening I've been on Spotify last week or two days ago my wife was sitting there in the living room watching something and all of a sudden she's on her phone and all of a sudden I hear myself talking I'm like what the heck do I have a deja vu or what so I turn around and see her sitting on the couch on the sofa, if people who don't know what a coach is. She's sitting at the sofa, or on the sofa, and she's kind of smirking. She's like, oh, hi, honey, I'm listening to your podcast on Spotify. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I didn't even, I kind of felt or some things that people tell me. So that's what men do. They don't really listen all the time. So I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I'm like, what? <laughs> okay, you're listening to me on Spotify. And I'm like, oh, okay. But what she did, well, she published that in the groups app, which it's like my entire family, it's like uh, 15 people in there. And my 16 year old nieces who just blur everything out on Snapchat. So all of a sudden I got reactions from, oh, I've been listening to your podcast and it's like, oh crap, never been so nervous. But thank God all the reactions have been really positive. I'll just walk over there. But I was nearly passing old man because I thought that, I don't know, my origin story is quite personal and don't know how, first of all, my wife would react and how my family would react. I don't know how the audience would react and if they actually cared, but apparently they did. So I got uh, people signing up for Wealth Rocks or Radio and subscribing to the podcast. So I created Wild Rocks or Radio, the website. It's not really a website, it's funner. So you can go there, listen to the episodes. You can ask me a question there. So I can talk about that in the episode of Wild Rocks or Radio. And then, um, yeah, you can sign up for uh, my entire system. So if you're struggling with making money online or 
your entire situation or you're not happy in your marriage or whatever the reason is that you want to do something different if you're not happy in your job if you need to stay more with your kids and that's my reason why I want to enjoy my kids not wake up when I'm 65 <laughs> wake up when I'm 65 and figure out that I missed everything so hope it added some value that's my review and Hope you go to wealthrockstarradio.com and sign up, subscribe, ask me a question. See you in the next video. Let's do some awesome shots here. Welcome guys, it's the uh, end of the second week, or even end of the third week. I'm having a real hard time figuring out the headlines for my sales page. So I've written down the entire offers again, which I created, but like the hooks are a little bit off so i'm going over all this and it's kind of procrastinating because i should have done this like two days ago and just stuff happens but that's what happens to everybody so let's wait this and this very busy with the podcast uh very busy in the funnel hack of the actually excited to actually get there but for who we're still stuck at funnel scraps Here's the truth. I'm just watching the behind the scenes of the third day. I've just watched uh, Stephen yelling at me through the speakers. So, just checking what I can give him and what the objections are and where it went. And just noted down what Stephen was saying in this uh, video. So, that's what we're doing today. What day is it? Week 3, day 4. So, at least that's the video that I watched. So, I <laughs> so, slept like over and a half last night, still busy with that sale page. But I think I need some sleep because my mind is not working. Hi guys, little freaking update. Uh, I've been at it for about 30 hours now. Finally done uh, my sales page script which I was just procrastinating about. I just need to go to uh, funnel scripts, actually go to a uh, long form sales letter, and actually think about the things that I've already written down, what are the objections. So since I seem to have a brain sprain today, I actually watched um, Stephen's training and it's about uh, offer sequencing and offer hacking. And there he does an example where it's like, um, oh, we're gonna sell socks, so what could you do? And he does an example about click funnels, which are used. And to see the sequencing, what's the first thing? The first objection is always a vehicle-based objection. And that's what I kind of forgot, vehicle-based. This software doesn't work, does it, is it a hoax, is it fake? Uh, and then if they finally believe, okay, funnels are the thing, or your software, or whatever you're selling is the thing, after that, they start having their internal uh, objections. It's like, uh, I can do this, can I? All they say, can I do this? Can I make money online? Can I really make this work? Can I pay for this? Blah, blah, blah. That's all internal. It's all about moi, about themselves. And then it's external. It's like price-wise, I can't afford it, this and this. So, uh, moist. It's all external uh, things that have an influence on them. Like, my, sp uh, my spouse doesn't want this, or my family doesn't support me, or this or this. So, uh, going to get coffee now. Coffee and a cigarette. I'm trying to quit smoking, but this is not really helping. So, I need coffee. See you in the next video. <laughs>